Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sonia. Hi, welcome. I try to make relatable content as a mommy with kids struggling, cooking, cleaning, managing the household and working when I'm not in quarantine. And I'm going to provide loads of motivation for you this week. And I'm going to be doing a lot with cooking and cleaning and shopping and planning. This will be a typical look into my Thursdays when I am home. So on a typical Thursday, I usually make challah dough and I try to make as much as possible with it. I usually bake with it. Uh, a few times I made rugala. This time I'm going to be making babka and pizza and some amazing pretzels with garlic parmesan sauce. Um, so here we are. I'm making some babka and I'll have the recipe linked down below in the description box if you're interested. My usual go-to challah recipe is a water challah that I've been making for months. It's super quick and easy to make, but this week I wanted to try an egg challah because I wanted to do a lot of baking with it, and I found an amazing recipe. It, they, all the challahs just looked completely gorgeous, and I highly recommend it. If you'd like, I can make a video um, on how I made those challahs. Um, they're, they just look gorgeous. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. And so now, as you can see, my husband's out there playing with my little ones in the back. So I'm able to have a few moments that I can steal away to do what I need to do in the kitchen. I'm usually never able to spend this much time in the kitchen while my kids are awake doing these things. But today was, a, I guess, an exception. My husband put up the bounce house. They were entertained somewhat. And my older kids were in class in the other bedrooms so I was able to do this it's just a juggling act right we all have to sneak in some time to be able to accomplish the things that we need to accomplish as mommies and as wives The babka is now ready and cooling outside. I'm just placing a syrup glaze over it. It's just water and sugar that I boiled and I am going to be just smothering that all over and it just gives it such a gorgeous look. Those nice layers on the inside of that chocolatey ooey gooeyness and it just came out great. I remember years ago, my husband and I would constantly be going to a pretzel shop on Main Street called the Pretzel Twist Cafe. We were obsessed with their Parmesan buttery garlic pretzels that they had there. We would order them all the time and I had some leftover challah dough and I wanted to really desperately re recreate that because we were so so obsessed with them and it's actually quite simple to make i took a little piece of dough uh, rolled it into a log made it into a u-shape and twisted it two times and took the two strands and placed them on the bottom and pinched them in place then I, I, while i was doing that i boiled some water and added three tablespoons of baking soda once it fizzed up i dropped the pretzels inside to boil just for 30 seconds and then i carefully took the pretzels out of the boiling water and placed it back on the parchment like baking sheet making sure to drain as much of the water out as possible I then egg washed the pretzels and placed them into a preheated oven of 350 degrees and baked them for about 25 minutes until they're nice and brown. Here my older ones just finished their class for the day and they're taking a much needed break. My little ones are next to me having some snack and I am just quickly going to be doing some meal prepping. I just have chicken breast here that I'm going to be cutting into strips so that I can use in a different recipe later on tomorrow. Thank you. 
here is a sneak peek of what I made with that chicken breast that I prepped the day before and it came out incredible and watch for that video coming out very soon. I'll have it linked in the description box below as soon as I edit it and post it. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you are made aware of when I post this video. Now it's almost dinner time and we're going to be making pizzas for dinner and I try to get the little ones involved even though it's not always the easiest thing but I find that they actually let you get stuff accomplished if they are participating in whatever you need to get accomplished. So even though I really need to get this pizza done, um, he wanted to help and I let him because they're bored. These poor little guys have no school, they have no daycare, they have nothing to do and this gives them some activity to do so this was fun for him and i actually didn't mind doing it at all and my little baby also wanted to get in a ball so he's going to be joining us as well soon It happened to be such a beautiful day that we decided to have our pizza in the back on the deck and I find that now that the weather is so much better, I'm able to go outside with the kids more in the backyard, they're able to play outside instead of being cooped up at home in the cold weather, not being able to do anything. So I'm so, so thankful that the weather has been changing and is getting warmer and there's just a little bit more things that we were able to do in our backyard. After dinner on Thursday nights is when my husband usually goes shopping for me for the things that I may need for the weekend. So I like to always make my meal plan ahead of time. I usually do this on Wednesday and I go through whatever I need and I go into my shopping list that I have. I check off the items that I may need. I had a whole video on how I meal plan. I can link that video in the description box uh, below of how I meal plan and how I make my life a little bit easier to get myself set for the week ahead. So here I am going through my shopping list and I'm going to be texting that to my husband so that he's able to get me the items that I need for the weekend. We have a strict bedtime routine of 7 o'clock for my kids. They're all in bed by 7, so I usually give them a bath at right after dinner at around 6.30 and they're sleeping by between 7 and 8 o'clock. So while I'm waiting for my husband to return from the store with the groceries, I'm going to be quickly tidying up. I got such great feedback from a lot of you about my nighttime cleaning routine that I posted last week. Many of you wrote in and said that it was motivational for you and helped you uh, tackle the things that you need to tackle in your own home. So I decided to put in a few parts of my own cleaning a nighttime routine in this video as well. So whenever I get ready to start cooking, I can't cook for some reason in a space that's cluttered and messy. I don't think I'm the only one, but I have to actually like clear out my counters and wipe my table so I can actually like think while I'm cooking. I don't know if this is like OCD of me, but I actually like have to just clear everything out and put everything away so that I can think straight while I'm cooking. Give this a thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about, if you have any of these same OCD tendencies that I do. So now the khalas and the babkas are all nice and cooled and I'm going to be just placing them into a clean plastic baggie so that they can be nice and fresh. Now it's time to make our incredibly tasty pretzels. 
I used one stick of butter, five cloves of crushed garlic, a tablespoon or two of the parmesan, and some oregano and parsley. I mixed that all really well and just smothered it all over the pretzels. I didn't even use a basting brush because I just wanted it to be fully, fully coated and it was such a good late night snack and if you ever want to reheat it i just put it into a foil covered it all up placed it in the toaster oven for about five to seven minutes and it was amazing even the next day For a pop of color, I'm just going to be sprinkling on some dried parsley. Now back to tidying up the house, I'm going to be finishing up with washing all of my dishes and like I said previously in my nighttime routine, I like to just get everything off of my countertops and place them in their homes so that I could have a nice clean sleep. Today I'm also going to be wiping down the cabinets of my kitchen because I've noticed that there's a lot of little sticky handprints all over them. I definitely do not do this so often on a regular basis. It just looked really, really bad. You can't tell from this angle, but they were really bad and needed to get done. So I'm just taking a little bit of time and wiping them down. Now I'm going to be finishing off with sweeping up the floors, taking out the garbage and wiping the floors. The kids are now spending a lot more time in the backyard and running in and out of the house, bringing in a lot of dirt. So I'm just going to be wiping down all of the floors. I would love to tell you that I do this on a regular basis once a week, but I don't. I don't usually do this um, once a week. I usually do this a couple of times a month on an as-needed basis. It was just getting really bad, so I needed to get this done.
usually go for a large grocery shop once every um, month and a half and we get all of the camp goods, the flour, sugar, um, anything that can just stay in my pantry for a while and we do these little short trips to the grocery shop um, every one to two weeks and this is something that I needed for the week and a few of you were interested in my grocery haul and so here it is. Um, I was missing some foil trays so I got those and some basic um, fruits and vegetables, some apples, cucumbers, lemons, avocados and oranges. I also wanted to make some sushi this coming week so I got the nori sheets as well as some dairy items, some yogurts for my kids and different cheeses and eggs and some butter and parmesan cheese that I needed for my pretzels that you just saw and uh, some string cheese and that's about it for my grocery haul. So now I'm just going to be putting everything away into the fridge. If the fridge looks bare right now, it's because it is. I always usually go through my fridge on a Wednesday night and I clear everything out. I throw everything out that we haven't used up in the previous week. And I wipe down my shelves and I get it ready for this shopping trip that we usually do on Thursday night so that I am all set to cook on Thursday night and Friday. Well, that's it guys. I hope you found this get it all done video motivational for you. I hope you enjoyed it and give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would subscribe and consider being a viewer. Have a good night. Bye.